Hi everybody, all right? This is the second part to our homes, uh, home essential kit and we're going to talk about peppermint. So over to Jen. <gasps> peppermint. Mm. So whenever you think about um, peppermint, think about it as uplifting and cooling. So we haven't got any scratch and sniff, but <laughs> yeah. just, just imagine. So this is sourced uh, from America and it is steam distilled from the leaves. So top properties of um, peppermint is anti-inflammatory, cooling, invigorating, and stimulating. So when we spoke about lemon, I spoke about how we put that in the diffuser, the two of them together for uplifting in the morning. That's really great. So all I do is just probably put two or three drops of each in the diffuser just to get us and the kids moving in the morning. Another tip you could do is in the shower, especially my teenage son, Pop your foot over the plug hole and just put a drop on the floor and then the aroma with the steam with the peppermint that gets you going and gets you moving. Um, another way for um, topical use, when we talk about topical use, we dilute with fractionated coconut oil or and peppermint is a warm oil and cooling oil, so please dilute that. We use the focus one, so again, we spoke about that with our lemon, so those two combined is really good for focus. For me, when I need to um, get on with a few jobs, great on your neck, on your wrists. Where do you put yours, Nick? My yeah. focus, just, yeah, wrists, yeah. Yeah, it's really, really good for that. In my handbag, it's all with me all the time. Now, head tension. For those that suffer any head tension, this includes children as well. You know, my son, he sometimes gets a bit of a headache if he hasn't drunk enough water, if he's been out in the sun too much. Now, head tension roller is really great. So that is just simply peppermint and some fractionated coconut oil. So then you would apply that to your temples or wherever, you know, wherever you're getting your, your head tension. Internally is another way how we use peppermint. So again, similar to... To the lemon I would put a couple of drops of peppermint in my stainless steel or glass water bottle for use um, if you fancied like a warm tea in the morning instead of having your coffee or, or your tea just put one drop in a tea pot for your peppermint tea so that sort of replaces my um, tea bags another way is raw chocolate uh, on my page you'll see some recipes for raw chocolate for bliss balls for smoothies and things like that so that's ways to use peppermint Thank you very much. Um, and then we're moving on to what will be next? Lavender. Is that oh, okay. Part? So we'll see you on the other side. 